Example 167 Tech. The data above was entered into Minitab and the results of the data analysis are provided below. Use the Minitab output and a 1% significance level to test the claim that there is a linear relationship between the number of casino employees in thousands working in Mississippi and the crime rate per thousand. Okay, so let's take a look at this computer output. All right, so the first thing we can see here is that they provided the p-value for the overall model. And that p-value seems to be significant because it's less than 1%. And if we look further down here underneath where it says coefficients, we can see that the term number of employees, which is our x variable, the variable that's attached to the slope, has a significant coefficient. First, you can see the t-value is quite large. It's 9.33. And then you can see that it's corresponding p-value is again less than 1%. So remember we're testing this hypothesis. The claim that there is a linear relationship, so that means that the true slope is not equal to zero versus that the true slope is equal to zero. So this first hypothesis would be our alternative hypothesis based on its symbol, but it'll also serve as our claim, right? Because that's what the problem states. The hypothesis underneath it would be the null hypothesis stating that there is no linear relationship because if the slope was equal to zero, then the linear relationship would not exist. Okay, so based on our p-value here, this 0 0.001 value, we can say that the p-value is less than alpha because the alpha was 1% and the p-value is less than 1%. Whenever that happens, we say that we reject the null hypothesis. And if you're rejecting the null hypothesis, you are then supporting the alternative those two things go hand in hand, right? So we're basically saying this claim seems to be supported by the evidence. So we support the claim that there is a linear relationship between the number of casino employees and the crime rate per thousand. And if you look at the value of the coefficient here, you can tell that it's positive. And what that means is that the relationship seems to be positive. So it's a positive relationship. And what does that mean? It means as the number of casino employees increases, the crime rate seems to go up as well. It's not implying a causal relationship, although you might argue that the reason why the crime rate is going up along with the number of casino employees is because the reason why there are more employees is because there's more gambling going on and more gambling leads to more crime. That's what some people might argue. But of course, that can't be proven simply from this study that's only looking at the correlation really between these two items, right? But there does seem to be some connection, right? They seem to appear together at the same time. Higher crime seems to appear with more casino gambling, it seems, right? But we don't know what the relationship is. We don't know if it's causal or not, right? There might be a third variable, a lurking variable behind the scenes that's causing both of these things to increase at the same time. For example, poverty, right? A place with high poverty might resort to using casino gambling to raise revenue for the city or the state. And of course, the high rate of poverty could also contribute to the high rate of crime. But it's not our job either way to determine that, right? That's not our role. Our role is just to state here that there seems to be a linear relationship. There seems to be a connection between the two variables. They seem to move in the same direction. So basically, as more employees are hired at the casinos, which indicates more gambling at the casinos, the crime rate also seems to rise at the same time.